Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday. What is today? July the 10th. Uh, my name's Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today we're going to talk about how to have confidence even when you're not so confident. Well, we'll see how that works out. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the show. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning Show, where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership and entrepreneurship. When you get here, whether you're watching live or you're catching the replay, I appreciate both of you, and I'd like it if you would do what Joe and Catherine have already done. Leave a comment, say hi, hello, good morning, whatever floats your boat. And I was going to go, I was going to bring the chicken out and put him back here, but... I forgot. I'll, I'll go do that as soon as I'm done. So he'll be here for in the morning. Um, all right. So hang on. I need another shot of this. Ah, all right. There we go. So every once in a while I get, um, not every once in a while, actually it's pretty often, where I'm talking with a new aspiring entrepreneur somebody that wants to start a business and they'll come in they'll give me their idea and they get all energized and pumped up about the idea and I say okay what's next I don't know well I probably need to do this and then they start laying out the litany of things that they have thrown down in front of them as an obstacle that subsequently have ruined their confidence um, you, you know, we've talked before about confidence comes from execution. And at the end of the day, that's the only way to gain more confidence is just to execute. But I want to talk today, I want to talk a little bit about the opposite. Why do we lose confidence? Right? I mean, confidence is trained out of us. Right? I mean, think about baby who's learning to crawl and is crawling you know close to the edge of the bed and he, you know he's got no fear because he's never fallen off the bed before once he falls off the bed that hurts don't want to do that anymore so he learns it, 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 it's a learned response right confidence is diminished because of a learned response so when we are Looking at doing something new, whether it's starting a business, adding a new product line, writing a book, whatever the case might be. And Catherine, I don't want to hear from you about writing the book. Um, that lack of confidence comes from one, either lack of experience or two, a learned response to something bad that happened. Even, and you might even have seen that something bad happen to someone else. There's a, in, co in the coaching circles, there's a big discussion going on about, um, about millennial business owners and their reaction to, to stimulus in the market based on what they saw happen to their parents. So when we're talking about confidence, it absolutely it is something you have to work toward, but it is not a requirement not a requirement to execute. In fact, execution leads to confidence. So when you need to take that next step forward, when you need, how did I know that was coming? When you need to take that next step forward, yet you don't have the confidence to do that, what do you do? So there's this, I'm, I'm a fan and not a fan at the same time of this phrase. So I'm just going to throw it out there. Fake it till you make it right there is some element of truth to that right if if i don't have the confidence to do something then i should fake the confidence until i gain it and, 
and I don't know whether this is really faking it or not. I guess the anal two analogies I like to use the most for this are jumping in the pool and jumping out of an airplane. I don't know why jumping is involved in both. But you're standing at the edge of the pool and you're thinking about jumping in, you can stand there and think about it all day. But once you lean forward and let momentum and gravity start doing its bit, you're committed. And, and, and you're going to get a result. And it has very little to do with confidence at that point. So you, you can take an action, you can execute, you can move forward without the confidence. But we want that confidence to build. So I guess here's the point. This is kind of what I want to, uh, to, to, to kind of leave with you today. If you are waiting to take some action, if you're waiting until you're confident in the result, you might as well give it up. Just forget about ever doing it because you're not going to get that confidence until you do it. So you have to proceed imperfectly. You have to go forward even in the absence of that confidence. And look, and, and we can talk, maybe we'll talk about this more tomorrow, but I just want to touch on it briefly here this morning. Um, well, now Catherine derailed my train of thought there. Fake the confidence. I like that. I'm going to put that up here on the... Um, Just have to move it so you can see it. Fake the confidence until you have the boldness to be confident. I like that. That's pretty good. Um, in fact, I like that so much I'm going to end with that. We'll, we'll save the other topic for tomorrow. So, if you are facing something, if you're facing an action, you can't take that action because you don't have the confidence yet, don't wait around for it. Go ahead and go out and create it. Take action. Fake the confidence until you have the boldness to be confident. There you go. That's a good one. Thanks for that, uh, Catherine. That's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, and one more thing. Actually, two more things. If you got value from our time together today, I would love it if you'd give me the old heart, thumbs up, stars, likes, whatever's appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening. And if you know one person, I bet you do, that could benefit from hearing this message today, go ahead and share it with them. That would be awesome as well. Good morning, Tatiana. Good to see you here this morning also. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a fantastic Wednesday. We'll be back again in the morning, bright and, bright and early, 7 o'clock, for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Take care.